Yo, what's going on? I've been asked this question many, many times. So here's the video on it. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit the respawn timer on your Arc PS4 server. So stay tuned. Also, if you want to fix the respawn bug that may be happening on your server, then check out my how to change maps video. That will show you how to fix that bug. Stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get your Arc PS4 server set up in minutes instead of messing around in the Nitrado expert settings for hours, then go to arcps4servers.com forward slash settings. Here you'll find downloadable settings codes that you can easily copy and paste to the expert mode settings of your Nitrado server and get your server set up ASAP. And if you want to get more players on your server and grow your community, then you can add your server to the site by going to arcps4servers.com and grow your community today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from arcps4servers.com teaching you how to be better. Now, as I said before, if you're having the respawn timer bug, which is making your respawn timers go to like 30 minutes when you die, watch my how to change maps video that will show you how to do that correctly so that you don't get the glitch if you changed maps and you did it wrong you will have that bug watch that video i don't want to go through the whole thing here because then it'll just make this video longer than it needs to be so forgive me for that but i will be showing you how to edit your respawn timer in this video because it has been asked for a lot even though i'm sure most people are asking for that because they're having the bug i'm going to show you how to do it anyway so i did actually just test this out so this these are the codes that you will need these are the codes that will basically control your respawn timers on your server now the base amount that's usually well no let's start from the top let's start from the top basically you're gonna need to go to expert mode you know all that stuff check out my how to use expert mode video if you haven't watched it already i think how does this work again i don't remember but check out that check out that video and it'll show you how to use expert mode but here's the code i'll have it in the description below as well if i forget to put it in there because sometimes that happens because i'm super busy leave a comment down below but make sure you really check don't leave a comment and then it's already there because that's really annoying but here we have the four different co codes that will basically control your respawn on a pvp server so increase pvp respawn interval is basically the switch that turns on and off if you turn this false then if you die in a pvp scenario you won't actually get a longer respawn time that's how this works at the moment because it's set to true so if i died to an enemy tribe or an auto turret or something like that then my respawn interval will be multiplied by two as you can see here it's increased pvp respawn interval multiplier this is basically how much your respawn interval is multiplied when you get killed in pvp now your increased pvp respawn interval check period is basically i think this is in seconds this is the period that you have after you respawn again before you'll be punished for being killed repeatedly so let's say you're you're just about to go to a base you die to an auto turret then you've got 300 seconds before you die again before you get the punishment of those consecutive deaths for example if you go to the base you get killed by an auto turret then you get killed again within those 300 seconds then you're going to have let's say you have two times the normal respawn times if you go and die again that's going to get two times i believe and then that's just going to keep on going until you realize okay maybe i should stop dying so much and chill out a little bit so that's how that works and then this is the amount that is timed by so we've already kind of discussed that and then increased pvp respawn interval base amount is the normal amount that it takes for you to respawn so this is usually set on 60 that's the the default amount and then that's basically a minute 60 seconds now i have tested it out 
on my server and I set this to like a thousand and it went to like 16 minutes. So I know that if you go up, it's going to be longer. If you go down, it's going to be shorter. So if you want your respawn time to be shorter, then you can set this to like one or five or something like that. And then people can just get in the action really, really quickly. Although I do want to give you a warning. This is really, really unbalanced. If you set your respawn time too low, then people can just create a bed or a sleeping bag and keep on jumping into someone's base and waste their auto turrets so it's something you may want to think about remember if you have the respawn bug watch my how to change maps video that will fix that this is how to change your respawn times manually and yeah that's all the information you need to know as i said the code will be down below in the description if you've got any other questions or any other tutorials you'd like me to make, please comment down below and let me know. Thanks for watching and liking and subscribing. I'll see you in the next Arc PS4 server tutorial. Peace out. If you want to rent your own Arc PS4 server, I recommend renting one from Nitrado. Go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado and use the coupon code jcartarray for 10% off. Now, if you go through that link, it does help out the channel. So please definitely do that. I use Nitrado servers for hosting my servers and it's also the official provider of Arc PS4 servers. So definitely go to jcartarray.com forward slash Nitrado and use code jcartarray to get 10% off your Arc PS4 server. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you.